All right, guys, it is time to start planning for the 2020 Hootin' Nanny. Every year, this is going to be our fourth year, correct? Fourth year. When is it? Uh, it is July 18th. Awesome. July 18th, 2020, the same place, Somerset Beach Campground. And uh, everything is almost exactly the same as last year. So I just want to give you guys a chance to let you know that we are now taking campground reservations and we have an, uh, um, a way for you to RSVP through Eventbrite. Is that correct? Yes. And uh, that's free and you're going to get issued a ticket. You don't need the ticket. But it's just a way for us to have a general idea how many people are planning on coming. Yes. Um, we're going to have a couple giveaways to do. I just learned about one that you don't know about yet. Um, Go figure. <laughs> uh, and just uh, basically, if you don't know what the Hoot Nanny is, do you want to start? Okay. <laughs> uh, the Hoot Nanny is a get together of anybody. Anybody is welcome. It doesn't matter if you have social media. It doesn't matter if you're on YouTube. It doesn't matter if you homestead. Whatever. Anybody is welcome to come. And Maybe you're a gaming geek that hates homesteaders, but is looking for a free lunch. Come yeah. on down. There you go. And it's just a giant potluck lunch. So people can enjoy food, enjoy conversation. Kids can run around the campground and play and swim and whatever, and just enjoy company. That's it. Like that's all there is to it. Bring your next door neighbor. Uh, we had a couple messages last year as people were heading out. They're like, "Hey, can I bring my neighbor?" Yeah, bring anybody. It doesn't matter. Bring them. <laughs> bring them. The more people, the merrier. Everybody talks, has a great time. Um, it's the one time a year that I just talk nonstop. Yes, he does. <laughs> So we would love to have you guys come down. This year, the campground wants us to handle our group like they have other groups. Yeah. Um, and that is basically, we are taking your campground reservation. Um, we're collecting your money. And then before July 1st, right? Yeah, July 1st is the deadline. We that go... we have to pay the campground. Yeah, so you have to pay us before then. And then we pay them July 1st. Right. So the way that process works is for starters, you would RSVP here from our Hoot Nanny site. Here's the link, you can see it right here. Um, and but the other link is for is for a campground reservation. So we would, if even if you're getting a campground, we'd like you to hit the RSVP link as well. But then, uh, then you'll have this form to quickly fill out. Uh, we'll get that form, confirm that the site that you want is available, and then we'll send you a payment email and how to pay. And um, no rush on the payment or anything once we've confirmed your reservation that site is yours but we would really love to have the money by june 1st so there's a cushion there uh, but at the very very least uh the very end of june we'd have to have that payment by and if for so, some reason you end up having to give up your campsite if you could let us know so yeah. then we can open it up to somebody else that um has maybe shown interest our group is filling up pretty quickly. We have 28, 28 sites total. And like 10 or full now? Ten, yeah, 10 or so are already booked. Because so. I have asked some people to help me out with this process as far as they're making sure that pigs. they're guinea pigs and making sure the process is working smoothly. But um, yeah, so that is that. The camping has turned into a huge fun thing. And uh, Jenny and I have been talking about some things. Last year, I wasn't extremely happy with the Friday night camping. Um, we were busy trying to get kids fed and we stuff. Were running around, yeah. And I want this Friday, this year's Friday night to be. I don't care if Jenny and I order a pizza for ourselves. Um, there's going to be a campfire Friday night, and that's where I want everybody to be, or at least us. I want us to be available at the campfire. Yeah. And um, we we, had, we rented two sites again this year. Uh, one's going to be for us camping and one's going to be the community campfire. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm hoping our family will be all Friday night. Um, and spending that time with you is what I'm hoping. <laughs> so, um, and then Saturday we're talking um, about maybe some changes to help help with breakdown quicker and um, all that. So to get things moved from the actual hoot nanny, uh, what's that thing called? The pavilion? That thing. And get things moved back over. So... Um, so with that, with some changes we've talked about, if you are planning on coming, please bring lawn chairs because yes. um, our layout of how we're going to have things at the pavilion is going to be a little bit different. And so you will need lawn chairs to sit in. Right. So, yeah, we're trying to make it so there's not so much stuff to break down, not so much stuff to pack away, not so much stuff to get it back. And... Um, 
If you'd like to be part of a maybe a, a dedicated crew to help with that, we've talked about doing that also, possibly a dedicated crew, uh, maybe working with Jenny's mom or something to help get stuff broke down and get back. Um, if you don't want to, perfectly fine as well. So, um, yeah, anything else? No, I think the lawn chairs and then the RSVP being on Eventbrite and us controlling the campground stuff is the only changes for this year. Right. Uh, I guess some exceptions would be if there's inclement weather and it's raining, we may set up a lot more similar to last year. Right. Uh, but if the weather's nice, we're looking at trying not to have so much Keeping stuff to break simple. down. Yes. Yes. So, we hope to see you guys out there. The Hoot and Yang's a ton of fun. Um, everybody is welcome. I am pretty sure even if we fill up our 28 sites, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we can get some more sites. There is a problem with um, Thursday night reservations. It's very limited. Yes. And on that form, I have listed sites that are only available Thursday night as well. And if you're not going to stay Thursday night, please don't request one of those sites. Right. We, just... If we get closer and they're still available, then yeah, that's fine. But um, we could even, you know, if it gets to be June and nobody's taking a Thursday site, but that's a site you really want, uh, we could probably move some stuff move around. Some stuff around. Yeah, for sure. But so if you're planning on staying Thursday night, uh, we have a list of Thursday night sites available. All they are limited. We are very limited. All because that week at the campground is family camping week. And it and, doesn't end until Thursday night and people leave right. Friday morning. So a lot of the sites I and mean, they fill up for family family week and so mm -hmm. a lot of the sites are just not available. Now, all the sites are available Sunday night. So if you yes. wanted to make a three day weekend out of it, you could also stay Sunday night or a four day weekend if you wanted a Thursday night site as well. So anyways, I'm sure we'll get more info out. Keep an eye on our Facebook group. Keep an eye on our Instagram and our Facebook page. And obviously the website, we'll be updating the website with more stuff too. Um, but yeah, just, just get it in your head. Start planning. Start making reservations. These campsites, I think, are going to go pretty quick. They are. And just to touch base for those that don't know, uh, with it being a group, it's $30 a night uh, with a one-time $5 fee. And for those of you not camping that are interested in lodging, there is a whole bunch of hotels and even a bed and breakfast close by that is listed on the website. Right. And on our lodging page, I shared in our Hootenanny group, I haven't gone to see if anybody's actually commented, but I asked people to go to our lodging page where I think Jenny put that together and it's just a whole bunch of different things and I, to comment on that page of their experience staying at, at oh, whatever yeah. place they yeah. stayed at. Because we haven't so. stayed at any of them. No. Nope. It's just I listed some stuff that was in the surrounding yep. area. And if you have stayed somewhere that's not on our list, we will put it on the list yeah. um, if you comment about it. So, yeah. Anyways, start planning. We'll get some more videos out about the Hoot Nanny coming up. And um, what do they got? About six months? No. Five? Five. Five months. Yeah, just over five, five months. Five months, yep. July 18th, 2020. <laughs> Pratt Family Homestead's Hoot Nanny.